Garage. We've got loads of amazing body tricks to show you, and with this one, your friends won't believe how strong you are. What are you doing? I've got my hand on my head. Take it off. Make me. Is it glued? I'll show you. It's very easy. OK, I'll get it off. This is a really great trick that you can do too on anyone, no matter how strong they are. You simply put your fingers on top of your head and press down. It's simple. Your bicep muscle is so strong, it locks into position, and no one can move it until you decide to relax it. I know what it is. My brother has developed superhuman strength. Ouch. <laughs> we know loads of amazing body tricks. This time, we're going to show you how to convince your friends you can read their minds using just an ordinary penny. So, we're going to um, take this penny and I'm going to give it to Zahn and he's going to put it in one of his hands, OK? So I'm going to do this without looking. Now, if I can guess which of his hands he's put it in, then I get my penny back. Now, whilst I keep looking the other way, I want Zahn to put the hand with the penny in it above his head. Let's just make your hands different. You've just got to think really hard about the hand that it's in and send it to my brain. I think I've got it. <laughs> Put your hands together. I'm going to guess which one it is. That one. Oh, because one hand. So who thinks they know how this thing is? So Nathan's been absolutely keen as mustard. So Nathan, come out here and tell everyone how you think it's working. Well, I think it's working because when you put your hand up into the air, your blood drains out of your hand, so when you put it down, it looks whiter. So, Nathan is completely correct that if you put your hand in the air, there are no veins on the back of that hand now. Can you all see that? Look at this hand, all those veins. Let's put them together. Put them together. See all that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was wow. pale. That's right. You can tell which hand your friend has just been holding up in the air because the veins won't be sticking up as much. That's because the blood has drained out of them. So give it a try at home and see if you can trick your friends. Ouch. <laughs> We've got loads of body tricks to show you. Want to try something amazing with your eyes? We've got a fantastic optical illusion for you. Do you know who this is? Is it supposed to be Justin Bieber? Yes, trust me, it's him. We've reversed the colours of the picture and we want you to stare at it now. You need to keep looking for 30 seconds for it to work. You're seeing this picture because your eyes are sending messages to your brain about the image. Keep looking. But the longer you stare, the more tired your eyes will become and they'll stop sending messages to your brain. But your brain remembers what the picture looks like, and that's what we're going to prove to you now. Keep staring. You mustn't take your eyes off Justin. Time's nearly up. In a moment, I'm going to get you to look away, and you'll still be able to see him. Are you ready to try it? Make sure you don't blink. And look away now. Can you see it? If you blink, the image will go. This trick works because when you looked away at the wall, although your eyes kick-started again, sending new messages to your brain, it took your brain a few moments to catch up. And that's why you could still see Justin Bieber, even though you'd looked away from the picture. He really does have very good hair. Ouch. We've got some incredible body Come tricks. On. Want to find out how to stop your friends from being able to control the movement of their foot? So I want you to take your right foot, stick it out in front of you, and now I want you to make circles like that clockwise. So if you're looking at a clock face, I want you to make a circle around the clock face the same direction the hands move. Very good. So everyone can do that. It's easy, isn't it? So without touching, I'm going to stop you being able to do that. What I want you to do is get your right finger up in the air. OK, now I want you to trace the number six big in the air like that. I don't want you to keep doing it. So keep, see if you can keep your foot spinning clockwise while you make I a big number six. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. I can't do it. OK, so who understands why you can't do the trick? 
Okay. Because your finger is going the opposite direction to your foot, so it kind of confuses your brain. Excellent work, Tess. When we draw the number six, it's an anti-clockwise movement. When we try to move our foot clockwise, our brain gets confused and tries to make them move in the same direction. Your brain finds it very hard to coordinate two circles, one going that way and one going the other way. But some of you found that if you drew the letter six clockwise, it's very easy, because everything moves in the same direction. I fooled with all of your brain. And that's why this lot will never be able to do it. And we bet you can't either. We've got some incredible body tricks for you to show your friends. Want to find out how you can stop your mates standing on their tiptoes? We're now going to teach you a trick. So, Zahn Stunner, can you stand on your tiptoes? Look at that, well done. So, Zahn, I want you to stand against the door. And I just want the tips of your toes very slightly beyond the door. Just stand so your whole chest is against the door. And you're like that. Stand on tiptoes. Come on, stand on tiptoes. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. Just what? Oh. <laughs> so do Come on, Adam. Go. And it's not just Zahn that can't do it. He can't do it. She can't. And nor can he. Oh, cheating. You move your feet. So you all failed to do it, didn't you? Now, does anyone know why? The door being there, you can't go forward. And you, you push backwards and stay on the ground. Alex is absolutely right. When you go on tiptoes, it's not just your muscles pushing you upwards, which is easy. You've also got to balance. And to do that, your brain tells you to move forwards, then upwards to distribute your weight evenly and stop you from falling. So if you can't lean forwards, you just fall backwards like that. Or like that. <laughs> We've got loads of amazing body tricks to show you. Here's how to confuse your friends' brains using just water. Right, this is cool. Zand, I need a bowl full of ice-cold water. And now I need a bowl full of medium-temperature water. And now I need a bowl full of hot water. Hot from the tap, not from a kettle. I'm going to put this hand now in the ice-cold water and this hand in the hot water, and I'm going to leave them there for one minute. both hands in the middle bowl, and that is really weird. So the hand that was in the ice water feels boiling hot, and the hand that was in the hot water feels freezing cold. I'm in a state of total neural confusion. Zand, what is going on? Well, for the hand that was in the cold water, the warm sensing nerves in Chris's skin became much more active, and all the cold senses were shut off. This fooled the brain into thinking his cold hand was hot. And for the hand in hot water, it was the other way around. So the cold sensing nerves in my skin became more active and all the hot senses were shut off. This fooled my brain into thinking my hot hand was cold. Try it out on your friends and confuse their brains. Ouch. We've got some incredible body tricks to show you. Want to find out how to stop your friends moving with just one finger? OK, so guys, come and stand in a ring at but arm's length, cos I don't like the way you all smell. So you all have to stay there. I'm going to stop you from standing up with one finger. No, you're not. OK, Zandi, sit down. OK, now I want you to put your head against the wall. OK, and I'm going to stop you standing up with just one finger there. OK, so now try and stand up. Stand up. So what you've got to do is make sure that your hands are on your knees and you're just using one <laughs> Now, do you think one of you could stop Zahn standing up? Yes. Who's the smallest? So why don't you come forward, put the point of your finger like that. Have you got long nails? Never. You'll never stop me fighting. OK. Now, Zahn, ready? <laughs> it's not just Zahn that can't stand up, though. No one can. <laughs> You're not going to hurt me, Solomon. You'll never keep me down! You don't really have to be super strong to make this trick work. It's more about balance. Watch what happens when Zahn stands up. Slowly forward, and now he can stand up. So you have to move all your weight over your feet. Sit down. Now, st now stand up. 
And if you stop him moving forward, then he can't, he can't do anything, because he can't stand up like that or he'll fall over backwards. Right? Stop it. <laughs> Sorry. So try it yourself and see how you can be a superhero with just one finger. Ouch. We've got loads of amazing body tricks to show you. Here's how to stop your friends from simply moving a leg. I'm going to show you that I can stop Chris using his leg without even touching him. That's how strong I am. Do you think I can do it? Yeah. <laughs> you never. So what I'm going to do is get Chris to put his left foot against the wall. And you want to get it right flat up against the wall, so even the heel is against the wall. And then I'm going to get him to push his ear against the wall, OK? So push your ear against the wall. This isn't going to work. Yeah, how is this going to work? It's going to work really, really well. It better work. Get your ear right up against the wall there, hard as you can. OK. Come on, Chris, lift your leg. Let's go. Yes, Come on. Yes, Chris! 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 See, I told you it would work. Chris can't lift his right leg at all. Chris! 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 OK, can you lot do any better? I did it! I did it! No, your ear came away from the wall, Amelia. Look at this! have to keep the ear on the wall. Go. <laughs> so what do you think's going on here? You have to be able to lean to one side to be able to balance, but then the wall is blocking you to lean to one side. That is a very good explanation. Yeah, that's very good, actually. To lift your left leg off the ground, your body weight has to shift directly over your right leg to keep your body balanced. <laughs> but with this trick, the wall gets in the way, meaning your leg can't go anywhere. Give it a try yourself and see if you can impress your mates. Yeah. Ouch. We've got loads of amazing body tricks to show you. Want to find out how to stop your friends from simply lifting a finger? We're going to show you how. Zon, I want you to put your hand on the table. And then I want you to leave that finger out. Leave that one out. If you can lift this penny without taking your hand off the table, just using that finger, mm. you can keep it. Ooh, yes. <laughs> now I'm going to paste the very light, normal penny on your finger. Easy. And we're going to do a big countdown. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. Lift! Come on. That is pathetic. <sighs> who thinks I'm pathetic? Now, who thinks they could do it? Well, let's see then, shall we? Time for everyone to have a go. OK, so in three, two, one, one. lift. Lift. Come on, guys, come on, lift it. Yeah, best go you can, best go you can. None of them can do it. So how does it work, then? Your little finger and your first finger have their own muscles, but the middle ones have a muscle that controls all of them, so you can't move them separately. The muscle you need to move the penny with is busy keeping the middle finger bent, and it can't do two things at once, making the penny finger useless. Ouch. We've got loads of amazing body tricks to show you. Here's how to fool your friend's taste buds. This is a good trick, and all you need is a tongue. But the tongue has to be dry, so that's what I'm going to do with this kitchen towel. Now I'm going to take a piece of food, chocolate, and put it on Zand's tongue. Without looking at his tongue, let's see if Zand can guess what the food is. Can you tell me what that is? Is it tooth? Is it itchy? Is it tooth? You've lost your keys. Is it tooth? Oh, cheese, why didn't you say? Now, the reason Zahn can't taste it is because the molecules in food that give it flavour need to be dissolved in saliva before you can detect them. OK, Zahn, chew it up in your mouth. So, can you tell me what it is? Chocolate. That's right. And could you taste it with the dry tongue? No. Chris has found a way to take away the taste of chocolate. <laughs> Why would you do that? You know how much I like chocolate. So, in order for food to have a taste, it must be dissolved in saliva first. Only then can the flavour be detected by our taste buds. Give it a try and see if you can trick your friends. Ouch. We've got some amazing body tricks to show you. Want to find out how to shrink someone's arm? OK, Zahn, I want you to put your fingertips together and push your arms out as far as you can in front of you, like that. This is a great trick. OK, now I want you to take that hand and rub it as hard as you can on this elbow. Now, tell your mate while they're doing this that you're going to use magic powers to shorten that arm. Ooh, I'm using my arm-shortening magic powers. Ooh. Not too much magic. 
Okay, now straighten. You've shortened my arm. Exactly. Now, to get them back the same length, you simply do the opposite and rub this hand on that arm. More magic, more magic, and straighten. Yeah, that's better. Now, do you want to try it again? No, I won't be able to get my hands in my pockets. Don't be ridiculous, Sand. So, this trick works because as you rub your left arm, the muscles in the right shoulder tighten up, making your right arm look shorter. Your left arm is relaxed and completely untensed, so it looks longer. To get things back to normal, just give everything a shake. So give it a try and see if you can fool your friends. We've got loads of amazing tricks for you. Here's one to show off how strong you are to your friends. OK, Zand, so I want you to try and pull my fists apart. This is a great trick. <sighs> nope, I can't do it. OK, now you do the same thing, but I'm going to separate Zand's fists using just my fingers. Your friend will be feeling pretty confident at this point. You won't be able to pull my fists apart, Chris, because I have the strength of 20 men and not even a team of them. Now, what Zand forgot is that he's pressing his fists together so tightly like this, there's nothing to stop them being separated like that. So when you try this trick, just push your fists upwards and downwards against each other so your friend can't separate them. But when you do it to your friend, they'll copy what you did. Just use your fingers to push and pull their fists towards and away from you. And it works. We know loads of fantastic body tricks to amaze and confuse your friends, like this one. This is a good trick. This is brilliant. You're really going to like this. So what I'm doing is I'm standing so my fingertips are just touching the wall. And then when I say so, Chris is going to move his arms around in a big circle and just try and touch the wall again. But I'm going to push the wall away from him. Go. Now your mates are going to think that their arms have shrunk. Whereas actually, I pushed the wall. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Frankly, I'm amazed this building is still standing. Of course, Sun didn't really move the wall. When I rotated my arms around, the muscles in my shoulders tightened up, meaning I couldn't stretch my arms as far. Simple. Give it a try and see if you can fool your friends. 